Okay, in this session, we're going to have a look at creating and deleting an animation. So first of all, let's look at how this presentation looks without an animation. So let's just go to this slide, go into the slideshow. And if I advance the show now, you'll see that on this, uh, on this slide, both sets of text and images uh, appear at the same time. And we just want to change that because this image on the left, I have something to say about this before I show the one on the right. So I want this to stay hidden until I'm ready to comment on it. So I'm just going to press escape to come out of here. And now I'm on the slide where I want the animation to, to be. Now I'm going up to the ribbon. I'm going to click on the animations tab. Okay. So I always find it easier to work in the uh, on this tab if I show the animation pane. So let's click that pane. Okay, good. Now we're going to select the the text and the image on which we'd like we'd like to apply the animation. So first of all, I'm just going to click on this text box here. I'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard and then select the uh, the image as well. So you can see because of the boxes around here and and all the grab handles, that both of these are now selected. Looking up at the ribbon, I'm going to choose one of these uh, one of these animations. Um, as uh, as you might expect, if you've uh, been doing my whole course, you know I'm going to choose one that's fairly subtle. So I'm just going to go for fade. Okay, good. So we've now applied that that fade animation. Now over on the right hand side, I just want to have a look at some of the settings that, that uh, are being applied here. So I've got both animations, so the one for the text and the one for the image uh, highlighted. I click the down arrow and I just want to have a look at the effect options. And move across the timing. Now the, the delay, I don't want any delay here, but I do want to say how I want it to start. I want it to start if I click my mouse, you can make it automatically appear after a certain period of time, but I just want it to appear straight away when I click my mouse. Um, I want it to appear in 0 0.5 seconds, so fairly quick, but that's how I want it to, I want it to run. So we're going to click OK. OK, good. So let's just uh, test this. I just want to go into my presentation. I'm going to click on it. Okay, and what's happened here is actually um, the the image isn't appearing. So we're going to press escape and just see what's going on with this. So I'm going to look at the, the, the two animations separately. Look at the first one. Okay, so that's set to start on, on click. That's fine. Uh, and the timing is um, the timing is fine. But actually, I do want this second one to appear automatically at the same time as the previous one. So we're going to look at these settings separately. So I've selected just the image. Click the down. OK, so that's set to start on click. OK, now what that's going to be waiting for is that second click. I do not want to have to do that. I want it to start with previous. OK, so not start after it. I want it to start at exactly the same time. Okay, so now let's have a look at how this is going to uh, how this looks. Back into our presentation. Okay, good. Neither of them are, are appearing at the moment. I'm going to do one click. Good, and there they are both at the same time. So I'm just going to have another look at that and just um, just show you again what's happening. So I go to my slide. During my presentation, I would I would speak about um, the content on the left. I, I would I would um, progress the slide now, either by clicking the mouse, clicking the enter button, clicking the the one of the one of the directional arrows. Maybe you have a clicker, but I'm just going to click it once. My text and image appear, and now I can talk about this. Okay, so let's just press escape to to come out of the the slideshow. Uh, and what I'd like to do now, I'm going to take that off. Okay, so. I've decided that actually I'm not that keen on this uh, on this animation, so we're going to look, we're going to get rid of it. So it's always easier, like I say, if you're showing the animation pane. We're going to select uh, that first animation, 
click delete on your keyboard. Make sure we have the second one selected. Okay, good, and they're both deleted. Let's have a, a quick look at how the, slide, the show runs. Go to the slide, and now they both appear at the same time. 